So our first date is a Morgan recommendation? Wow, no faith in the little bearded man, okay. I think you should know he's always been supportive of our fake relationship. And he's never found it remotely unbelievable that a guy like me could be dating, uh, <clears throat> you know. What? Um, you know, you. What about me? <laughs> You're really gonna make me say it, aren't you? You? Wow, okay, fine. All right, we'll play it your way. A girl like you. Or, or more appropriately, uh, a woman like you, considering the fact that you could probably kick the ass of everyone in this joint, and uh, a smart one at that, not to mention cool and extremely beautiful. And and you can stop me anytime with the compliments if they're becoming, yeah. you know. No, that was uh, very sweet. Sweet, golly gee, thanks for making me feel like I'm eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not so bad yourself. Please. I'm fantastic. Yeah, you are. What would Casey think if you knew we were doing this right now? It would probably kill him. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just there's um. I just had a couple of things I wanted to tell you before dinner. Yeah. Me too. Look, uh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we both know how I feel about you, so I'm just gonna shoot straight. Sarah, you're the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. You're beautiful. You're smart. You laugh at all of my stupid jokes, and you have this horrible habit of constantly saving my life. <laughs> The truth is, you're everything that I thought I ever wanted and more. And for the last few days, all I can think about is our future together. About what, it, what it's going to be like once I finally get the intersect out of my head. How we'll finally be together for real. No fake relationships. No covers, no lies. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that you and I can never have a future together. I fooled myself into thinking that we could, but the truth is, we can't. Because even if we had a real relationship, it would never really be real. I'd still never know anything about you. Your real name, your hometown, your first love, anything. And I want more than that. I want to be able to call you at the end of a, a bad day and tell you about some funny thing that Morgan did and not find out that I can't because you're off somewhere in Paraguay, quelling a revolution with a fork. I'm a normal guy who wants a normal life. And as amazing as you are, Sarah Walker, we both know that you will never be normal. You know, someday when the intersect is out of your head and you have the life that you always wanted, you'll forget all about me. I seriously doubt that. Come on, we better get inside. They're waiting for us. Maybe you're next. Huh? <laughs> I need your help. How am I going to survive tonight? Well, a good spy knows what their mark wants. What do we know about Jill? 
She's a spy. She wants you to be under her spell. Okay, how do I do that? She's gonna test you. When the time is right, she's gonna make certain that she has you. That you love her. How is she gonna do that? When you're most exposed. Emotionally exposed. Like uh, an intimate moment. Say, a kiss. Okay, imagine that I am Jill. The moment is romantic. She's close to you. She's looking into your eyes. God, okay, you got, I, I got that. I'm trying not to be distracted by the oh-so-romantic secret base. Concentrate. Keep looking into my eyes. Don't look up. And if you can't hold Jill's stare, look at her lips. Good. Now move her hair back over her ear. And when you start to kiss, focus again on her. And just before... Your lips are about to meet. Close your eyes. Okay, good. Good, you're all set. Huh? Oh, yeah, good. Hey. NSA just picked up a purchase on Jill's credit card. Two tickets to some stupid concert down at the music center. Hi, Chuck. Where are you? DVDs. I'm in the romantic comedy section, although for irony's sake, I suppose I should probably be in hostage thrillers. So, uh, Ned let everyone call their loved ones. That was pretty smart to call me, protect our cover. Yeah, well, you are my girlfriend, sort of. So does that mean your offer still stands for Christmas? Yeah, I know you could be heart warmed. <laughs> I actually, um, I have something for you. I was going to give it to you tomorrow, but considering the circumstances, I kind of want to give it to you today. Chuck, we're going to get out of here. We'll be fine. I promise. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's good luck. It was my mom's charm bracelet. My dad gave it to her when Ellie was born. Oh, Chuck, I can't take this. This is something real, something that you should give to a real girlfriend. I know. Chuck! Duty calls. Don't breathe. 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 Don